Are you okay? Sit up for a minute in the camera. No, I've fallen, I can't get up. Oh, come on, sweetie. Let me see that handsome face of yours. I know you're a strong woman, Chelsea, but even you've got your limits. Quit stalling, I wanna see the real you. Okay, okay. Hope you got your smelling salts handy. Ooh, scary. You know, my brother had a mask just like that that he wore to all the Halloween parties. He always won a prize. Yeah? Well, after a hot bath, an apricot facial, and a little makeup, you're gonna be eating your heart out there, darling. You probably forgot, but our date starts in exactly 12 minutes. Lucky for you, there is a one hour grace period. Thanks, Chelsea. You're the only one who really understands me. So what are we doing tonight? It's a surprise. Well, it's not a formal surprise, is it? Because my tux, it's at the dry cleaners. No, no monkey suit required. All right. Well, I sure hope it's bowling because I just got my ball waxed. No, we're not going to the Ten Pin Palace and we're not having chili dogs either. Now don't go back to sleep. Make yourself beautiful as quick as you can and zip on over here. I'll be waiting. Uh, sorry I'm late. Well, at least you're here. Come on in, let me take your hat and your coat. You know, in this light, you kind of look like a princess. Well, thank you. So which one of the dwarves do I have with me tonight? Happy, grumpy, or dopey? <sighs> Sleepy, actually. But hey, I'll tell you what. I put on a fresh shirt, I'm wearing the tie you asked me to wear. Get a couple of drinks for me. I'm gonna perk right up, okay? Well, you look like you've been working hard. Oh, man, I'm exhausted. It's just that I can't seem to get a decent night's sleep. You still having those nightmares? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, well, I think if you kept a little bit more normal hours and you ate a decent meal every now and again, you might look and feel a lot better. And that's why we have an eight o'clock reservation at the Golden Pagoda. Well, <clears throat> since you got to pick the restaurant, maybe I could be in charge of the uh, early evening entertainment. Uh, because if we- Tex, honey, listen. I, I don't want you to think that I'm not interested. I am. If it's just that I think that we have some things that we really need to discuss first. Such as? I just think it would be nice if our relationship could go further. What, like uh, all the way to second base? Oh. No. All I'm talking about is the ability to commit to something that has the potential to, to make us both very happy. It's about Sylvia, isn't it? 
no. And it's not about marriage. It's, it's about that one thing that, that prevents us from being close. Sylvia, have to do with you and me. You tell me. Okay. If you really want to know, I'll tell you. But keep in mind, six years ago, I was pretty much an idiot. The Colonel had just fired me from his detective agency because I thought everything had to be done by the book. Literally. Well, being the naive optimist that I was, I decided to go into business for myself and become a big success. As it turned out, I was about to learn some even harder lessons. There I was in my shiny new office with all the trimmings up to my ears in debt. Weeks had gone by and I was still waiting around for my first client to show up. I figured I'd have more work than I could handle in a big city like New San Francisco. And I was just starting to feel like a tiny bug on the windshield. Yeah, Chelsea, you wouldn't believe it, but I had a really nice office. Let me tell you about it. 